Week 6? Attempt 20? What has been going on with the dungeon? I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah, that was a few months ago or so. Maybe longer than that now. But I listened to them, and pretty much all of them are obviously Dota 2 related, right? So they don't really make sense in other settings. It's been pretty dark. It has... Is run not working? Uh... My computer rebooted. Truth, Let me check. How much time has passed since so with the counter, I have to start it again. There we go. Now run should work. Thank you for letting me know. All right. So uh, actually, should run will work again. Now it, it just wasn't turned on for some reason. That auto turns off if, if the bot ever is reloaded. Hellion. So how master run? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> that was just bad luck, man. So for anyone that hasn't been here in a while, we're on run twenty. Our best run is still attempt four, where we only had five bosses left. The We almost did it! We almost did it 16 runs ago! Uh, here we are, this world first challenge on attempt number 20. Uh, these have not been great attempts. We have This is the furthest we've gotten since run eight. Week six is the furthest we've gotten since run eight, so... Uh, we'll see what, what happens. Uh, hey, Casca. Including DLC? Yes, including DLC. We're doing all bosses, all DLC, and we had a... Run number four, we only had five bosses left in the in, in the game. <sighs> Alright. Oh, that's true. Um, let, let's let's try that really quick. Uh, so there is this new thing. I haven't set them all up yet. But... If anyone wants to hear Cletus... It's on a, it's on a long cooldown, but if enough people type exclamation Cletus... Close together. Has to be more than five. Five or more people. If you all, if you do that. Hey everybody, my name's Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? <laughs> so the other one, I've only done this with one other one. If enough people spam exclamation Xmas. Exclamation X-M-A-S. Five or more people, it's a long cooldown. It's a Christmas miracle. So the thought here is, any time that I say that without realizing it, or if something um, something big happens in the dungeon, like a big RNG moment, you can you can do if enough people type exclamation Xmas, it'll play that. But it is a ten minute cooldown because I didn't want them super spammed. Um, so right now there's two new command sound bites, but they it is a vote command, so enough people have to use it close together for it to trigger, which I think is kind of cool. Go find a cornbread clip. <laughs> Hey, R squared, how's it going? What's up, R squared? Do you want to talk about it? You, you don't got to. If you don't want to, of course, if you want to, by all means. But uh, sorry, R squared. Sorry, R squared. Won't help. Well, I mean, like I said, if you want to share for any reason, whether it will uh, will help or not. But sorry, R squared. Spam bots ready to invoke cornbread on demand. So. Uh, so we finished at week six and, uh, w this run hasn't been going that great. Um, I mean, it's been better than a lot of the other ones. Uh, we do need to grab that other Vestal, I think. All right, let's see where we were here. Um, so we do have two Crusaders. Uh... Man, I kind of want all these. We, we absolutely need to take the other Vestal, though. Unless she's just, like, crap, you know? Like, no, nah, she's fine. It's a fine Vestal. Um, I could expand this, but it's... We're not on track to get the bank. Like, we have gotten so few heirlooms compared to normal. Like, hopefully we still get the bank on week 10. Um, but I definitely don't want to trade in things and lose out on it. I might just drop Seeker. Like, he would cost money anyway to get him back in a good shape he does have evasive which would be nice for the final you know dark Dungeon four but it's it's not super needed because he's going to be guarded the whole time anyway like only aoe will hit i think has had the most deaths with all your playtime vestal absolutely 100 percent. but i mean it's kind of it's it's an easy it's an easy call because i use vestals more than anything else because it's just it's just used more um over, my, over the course of playing, like, if you did it based on percentage, like, if you, 
if you kind of extrapolated it or whatever, you know, each class, let's say you, you extend it out to the same number of uses as the Vestal sort of thing, like what, uh, I, don't, I don't know, like percentage of battles with that character or something, it would probably be Jester or Vestal still. Probably. But uh, without doing that, Vestal, absolutely. Um, so I gotta take this Vestal. Claustrophobia. God fearing. Uh, I'm gonna drop Seeker's Hand. Do so you have lost all the You have use. Get up in the queue. Please don't make me a hyphen. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen now. Your fate. Your luck is going to determine that you will be a high one. I, I don't choose when it comes up. I just, whatever, whoever's next, whatever class I'm grabbing. But uh, if there's an option, I'll try to avoid it. Alright, let's do this. Hey, Ant Atlas, welcome back. Alright, uh, let's go see what's up. Uh, definitely don't want the crucifix or the youth chalice. Um... We'll probably just go back to the cove, actually. Reason for the end of a run for me. <laughs> so that, is that why you're asking about most common class to die? Uh, all right. How's this new Vestal? Uh, I think, I think I'm gonna buy the Surgeon's Charm. The, the problem is the Surgeon's Charm, we won't use it forever. It helps us now, but we won't use it forever. So eventually it'll be wasted gold. When we get uh, Junia's head and um, Sacred Scroll, this won't be used anymore. Of course, who knows when we're going to get those, you know, or any part of that. It might be week 30 before we get either of those trinkets, we don't know. So I should probably just go for it. As I, as I click the button. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the cove, we'll take Din. Uh, we don't really have good stress relief yet. Like, Himuel would be our best, but... Uh, that's not really great. We'll take Lolek. Hemuel's gonna start out with... How much stress? 53. Because Tet's level 0, Tet would start out with 25. So Hemuel's gonna start out with double that amount of stress. I don't know. There is a camp in here, and they're just gonna be stronger overall. And we're still trying to... Uh, we're still really trying to stabilize, so... Yeah, this will be fine. Let's get them ready. That is not who I want. So, what's going on with the controls? Steven. Lolek, uh, we're not gonna use this transform, so I'm only gonna grab those three right now. The only thing I would use this transform on in here is if we were in like some really big trouble, like a super bad shuffle, or if we ran into a Shambler. Shambler's only 1% right now though, only 1%. Pretty much never happens. It's been a long time since we ran into a 1% Chandler, honestly. We've ran into 8% Chandlers, we ran into several 12% Chandlers, but uh, it's been a while, quite a while, So we ran into a 1%. Again, I can't really trade in. Uh, we really need to prioritize deeds in here, like drop anything in to, to get more deeds. Um, all right. So my target. Huh, that's weird. I wonder if it's like a thing right now, like they're in between like series or something. Um, Brave Chandler last week. One tile away from Chandler Spawn Curio thing. That's always, I always like that, like, it's kind of interesting when you pass an altar and you're like, nah, and then the next tile you get a random Spawn Chandler. It's good. It's good times. Guess, uh... Hey, Fight House, welcome back. Any super negative things this week to get rid of? We don't have a lot of money right now, so I would prefer not to. All right, let's get our trinkets and let's get get on with it. First dungeon in a long time. Long time, three days. It's a mighty long time. Uh, Surge of Charm on our vessel. Ooh. Get on with it, daddy. Working on it. 
Thank you for the five ad bits. I feel a little bit better. Thank you, R squared. Uh, we're gonna do the stun charm. Hmm. Mm. And speedstone on our abomination, on our hellion. Anything that really helps her? Not really. Now, in our Houndmaster, I hate to get rid of speed, but he has the lowest health, and uh, we don't want him to get crit to death door by Gruber, so the 5% protection will actually help him a little. So we'll go that route, and then uh, we might. She has no dodge at level 0, and we don't have any light in here, so she's going to have no dodge regardless of what we put on her. So throwing on a disease resist charm should be fine. Let's come along slowly. This is the first. Uh, First night I've streamed in three nights. I didn't. I didn't feel well. <clears throat> excuse me. I didn't feel well enough the last two nights to stream. Um, but a little bit better, Cam. Welcome back. It's gonna be like I said, extra chill stream tonight. Extra chill. Uh, all right. Have I eaten enough sandwiches? No, never. Never. Still on run 20. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, like I was saying earlier, this is the furthest we've gotten in a long time, which is crazy. Let's do it. First run tonight. Is there such thing? Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. All the food, stack of shovels, stack of herbs. Uh, three keys, one holy water should be fine. So we got food, shovels, curio, interaction. Um, let's get it on. Let's get it on. I got a haircut before I started feeling bad. So now it feels like my ha my head's like 10 pounds lighter, even though it was only like two inches of hair gone. Hey, Dylan, a little bit better. Blame it on the haircut. <laughs> I don't think that was it. All right, let's do this. The Samson <laughs> virtue. So what? And I've never had long hair. So what you say in R squared is I should grow my hair out really long, and then see just how powerful I become. They must be flushed out. Good scout. Um, medium dungeon. So there's a 50% chance of a secret room. We haven't found a secret room yet this run. Be unstoppable. Maybe I'll try that out. Carl. The T-Rex, the crabby arms. <laughs> Um, we need to kill the Drown Thrall, most importantly, but this guy is super buff, and this is a stress caster. I'm going to stun the buff guy. It's Carl. Carl, I haven't seen you in forever. Last time you got, you cut your hair was 9 to 10 years ago. Any amount? Like, not even, like, trimmed at the, the ends? <laughs> We're fine. As the fiend falls, a faint hope Why are you saying hey, hey, hey? Hey, hey, hey. Trim the ends occasionally. New Pepsi flavors. Mango, lime, and berry. There's there's so many berries. What berry do they mean? Berry. Berry flavored. Uh We'll blight this one. So our Houndmaster, uh, I think he's probably fine stress healing for the rest of this, depending on what happens here. Yeah, it should be alright. This guy's still buff though for one more round. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Berries and cream. Man, chocolate cherry. I don't like Dr. Pepper too much. Like I I don't hate it. But it's not one of my favorites. But cherry chocolate Dr. Pepper was good. It's like really good. And I know they have cherry still, but I don't think they have the chocolate cherry one. That was a long time ago. Uh, in fact, back then, when uh, when that came out, they had a commercial on TV 
probably on the internet too, I'm sure. Um, of that Tay, Tay Zonday or whatever is his name? The Chocolate Rain guy? He did a commercial for Dr. Pepper about the cherry chocolate Dr. Pepper. And he was literally singing Cherry Chocolate Rain. Only it was like upbeats. I don't want to kill him yet because I want to get a heal in. Does anyone else remember this? <laughs> probably find it on YouTube, I'm sure. Go first. Vaguely. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. All right, let's see what we got. Carl, it's Carl. Uh, there are so many bleeds in this game. Like, Nervous Bleeder is pretty bad. All these are not great. There's none that are, like, you know, top-tier annoying, <laughs> I guess you'd put it. Uh, these aren't really a big deal. Hagiomania is kind of annoying, too. But really, Nervous Bleeder is the worst here. Paranormedia is kind of crappy. Uh, Thanatophobia can be annoying. So we're going to try to get rid of Nervous Bleeder, but no matter what they get rid of, are we good? So, but just look at this. This is the first Eerie Coral we found this playthrough. I can tell because this has a question mark. Hey, Goggle, welcome in. How you doing, Goggle? Paranormania, that's fine. Then we're gonna rub some herbs on this dead fish, also. You're top tier annoying. <laughs> top tier annoyance. We'll probably camp early, get our scouting up. Uh, we want to see fights with pelagic guardians. Yeah, like this, this guy. So the Plagic Guardian uh, doesn't have a, like, really big crit chance. Like, yeah, he can crit just like anything can. Well, almost anything. But, uh, especially in Apprentice, it's pretty low. It's probably one of the lowest crit chances in the Cove, at least, I would guess. And, uh... So, and he's also high has high protection. So, once he's the last one up, we can actually, like, stall on him a little bit. And uh, stress heal and heal back up in general. I'm gonna kill these two guys first, though, of course. Uh, and we'll just alternate the stuns here. Make sure none of these groupers are getting to crit us, hopefully. Ooh, man. 16 non crit. 6 heal. Alright, one grouper down. Give them no quarter. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and attack this one. I was thinking about going ahead and starting to stress you all, but my head's hurting a little bit. Uh, hey, Middle Thug, how's it going? Replicators, or the Gauls, or the Wraith. Who are your favorites? I kind of like the Gauls actually. Um, I don't know. That's a hard one, though. I haven't watched it in so long. The Replicators was like a cool thing, but it's also something similar has also been done a lot. And, uh, I don't know. The Replicators kind of suffered from that, uh, Deus Ex Machina thing. Is that what it's called? I can't remember. Where, uh, like, it was all, they were almost too powerful. Like, it was, they were, they were made to be so unstoppable that there had to be, like, this very key. Very specific. Oh, this thing! Makina, thank you. Dylan, I can remember. Um, oh, this exists. Lucky us. Like, a plot device sort of thing. So I'm not sure, Rix. I, I would like to watch SG-1 again. It's been years. Last time I watched SG-1, my daughter was a year old. Thank you. I've only ever read it, so... That's why I tell people when they're when they're typing or saying things in here if it's wrong, like don't worry about it. Continue the onslaught. I mean I don't mind you let me know what it what it is, but I've only ever read it. So now we can stall on this guy. We just need to hit him with two weak attacks around. Gold Ori replicators. Yeah, I mean that that might be mine too. I don't know. I like the gold gold part of it like I mean that's where it all kind of started so maybe it's a little bit biased you know but uh reading only local patterns are super interesting 
yeah, I mean, I've been made fun of before for saying things that I had only that I had learned through reading. So I I never do that. Um, like if I hear someone say the wrong thing, I never like laugh at them sort of thing. Like correcting is fine if you're doing it in a in a positive sense. Obviously, I don't mind that. Um, but I've absolutely had people like make fun of because you pronounce a word incorrectly that you had only ever read. It's like. So if someone does that, they've probably learned the word through reading, rather than uh, through audio sources. You used to pronounce tome like tomb? Yeah, I can see that. Feed on humans? I think, yeah, <laughs> sounds about right for you. I do that a lot. You fall back to their primary language. Melee incorrectly because you had only seen it. Yeah, me too. Um, the big one there is when Smash Brothers Melee came out. Me and my friends call it Smash Brothers Melee. When we were waiting, waiting for it. Like when we were reading it in Nintendo Power or whatever. Smash Brothers Melee. And then it came out and on the opening screen. Super Smash Brothers Melee. And I was like. Melee? <laughs> that's, that's not right. This game got it wrong. Addition to sleep with your stream now. Been here for 10 minutes. <laughs> You're sleepy already. Uh, well, hopefully that's a good thing, Cam. Melee and then a lot say melee. Language in general is pretty interesting. Any insight about DD2? Can't wait to watch you stream. Hey, Hong. Um, no, not yet, unfortunately. I mean, I wish I... I'm not just saying this. I'm, I don't have like an NDA or anything. I don't know anything. Uh, other than what everyone else knows, so they did two interviews after the teaser trailer. So all we know is that it's going to be more Darkest Dungeon, which probably probably means continued turn-based strategy combat with imperfect people. Um, Hong, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Hong. I appreciate it. Thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. It counts as a tier one. Like, it financially supports the stream to use the Twitch Prime, so... Thank you, Hong, and, uh, also... Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Welcome to the Sub Club. Bring out the love and sandwiches. Thanks, Wayne. Uh, the only other thing is that they also kind of mentioned, uh, in passing a little bit, how they don't want to have as much micromanagement. And it feels to me what they were referring to is the town. And judging by the characters in the pre or in the trailer being out somewhere and there being a mountain and the ancestor talking about uh, how this is kind of, or they actually mentioned it, how it's kind of spread out into the world. Uh, it sounds like there's gonna be less man town type man management. So maybe there'll be like a out of, out of dungeon camping situation or expedition, I don't know. But right now, it's all kind of just uh, theory. So we're going to get the 30% additional scouting. We got her 10% crit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Therapy Dog. And we might get Night Tammy ambushed. But uh, I'm okay with that overall. Hopefully we don't, but... So, Mountains of Madness, yeah. Evolve on its own in some ways. I wonder if we'll come back to the Hamlet at all. The light. The promise of safety. I don't mind the town. The town... I don't mind that management aspect of the game. I think that's a major part of it, and one of the ways that you can make your run a little bit more unique, or min-max your run even more, if you want to go that kind of route. Like, uh... Beyond measure. It's also, like, a nice, like, decompression type thing, right? Like, like, no matter what happens in the dungeon, you know you're gonna go back to the Hamlet. You know you have that weak... Yeah, you might get invaded by Volf or some other you know, bad town of it, but you know you have a sort of safe haven, even though it's sketchy, to go back to and uh, help you recover before your next dungeon. It's like a, a downtime moment. I think not only is that a good thing in life to have that kind of downtime, thing, but in, in everything, like there needs to be peaks and valleys, right? So I'm glad it isn't just like dungeon 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 you know as much as i love the combat and i mean that's the main draw to of the game for me is the combat and the challenge like uh i like the town aspect it seems like 
the I don't know if this is the only place they're getting it from, but some of the negative reviews that the game has gotten is that there's too much downtime, it's too slow paced, it's too grindy, you have to get your your town all leveled up and you have to get your characters leveled up. Like, there's a lot of negative reviews like that and I just hope they don't cater too much to the negative reviews because the game is mostly positive. Dungeon, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Yeah, exactly. Uh, these are both dead, so. Uh, do best for a while, full time, occultist healer. It's too stressful. <laughs> so you don't sacrifice customization. I'd be, I would be fine with even more min-maxing. Like, the thing about Darkest Dungeon is you don't have to min-max to play or win the game. Like, you don't have to do so. It helps. It makes it easier, of course. But, uh, I like that you can beat the game on Blood Moon, you, you know, using mostly lepers for damage or using no lepers for damage, you know? So, uh, the other main complaints about the game from a from a review standpoint people complain about the RNG so much which I also think isn't fair like if you go on Steam and you sort it by negative there are like all these people that have played the game for like 15 minutes, 40 minutes 30 minutes They're like this game is just completely RNG it's not fun. You just have to get lucky. That's it. It's the only thing. It, it's like a, the wounds of war okay. can be healed. So you got the stress cast first. Uh, hmm. this one can cause disease. These ones can do big damage, and this one is already buffed. I guess we'll try to take out the disease carrier first. Now, this grouper can only hit one of the back two because of his position, so if he would have been in position two or one, I would have hit, stunned him. But we didn't have to worry about him hitting her to death's door this round. No disease. Okay, that's dead. Good. Good so far. Okay. Um... So next round, these two are going to be able to gang up on our Hellion. So let's stun this one and hopefully kill position three. Granny, if you get one or two wipes in the Darkest Dungeon, it's giving your roster back to having a bunch of level six is effort. Well, for me, that's why I try to tell people is like level the whole thing evenly. But I don't know. For me, like, I'm glad the game takes all that time. Like, if you enjoy doing it, I guess for some people, they're just, they're only trying to beat the game. Maybe that's like a problem in general with, uh, with gaming recently. I don't know. It's been, I mean, I've, I've been the same way about some games. Like, I lose sight of the game itself because I'm trying to beat the game, if that makes sense. I think maybe a lot of people do that with Darkest Dungeon. Um, a lot of, a lot of people seem to be about destination rather than journey. But I've kind of went back to the the journey part of it myself. Anyway, I'm not saying either way is wrong. It's just for me, I like that leveling the whole roster evenly, um, taking things slowly, trying out different things in the dungeon. Of course, I like these challenges too. Decimated. Same. Five hundred hours. Dark Souls. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I mean, I have hundreds of hours in Dark Souls too, but I don't think Dark Souls is RNG. Dark Souls is much less RNG, but it, that's a completely different kind of game. That's mechanical. Dark Souls is a mechanical. This is pretty much pure strategy. Any game that has roles in it is going to have some RNG elements, you know? Like, there's just... Even if, even if there was no accuracy in every attack had a 90% chance to hit. Um, if every single attack had a 90% chance to hit, no matter what, for everyone, there was no accuracy in the game to increase it, nothing to decrease it, you would still get, just because it's a roll, it's just, it's just, you would still get a chain of, of misses or, you know, the enemies would get, uh, maybe not miss for a very long time. 
So, I mean, there is RNG in it, but it feels like to me, especially if you're playing through the game uh, as it's supposed to be played, so to say, you can overcome any RNG in the game. I think a lot of people quit before they figure out how to overcome the RNG, though. I'll have it pretty quick. Yeah. Dark Souls, I think, is completely mechanic based. Same thing applies to Mario. Hey, Lobo. How you doing, Lobo? Irrational. Um, double Guardian fight. Like I said, these Guardian fights are what we want to see. We should be able to recover on this. We'll kill everything aside from one of the Guardians. Take out the Stress Cast first. Do you think they should add a crit miss? Where on a crit miss you could hit your own team? I don't, I don't think that, but they kind of already added something like that with Perfectionist, right? So with Perfectionist, if you uh, if you miss and you have Perfectionist, they take stress. I think an, an interesting system, and again, people that don't want more RNG might not be in favor of this, but I think a pretty cool thing would be if you dodge, you actually... Um, reduce stress and if you miss you gain stress no, nothing quirk or or trinket based if you dodge you you lose stress if you miss you gain stress i think that would make sense from a mechanic standpoint i don't think they'll do that and also it would make it would make my strategy even more overpowered so flexes with a focus one of those frozen one dollar meat pies haven't had them since you're a kid still lacking cans of chunk cat food and gravy Ugh. I know which ones you're talking about. Let's go on. Let's go. I want to see where you recover from this fight. Yeah, I mean, that's the important thing, too. But you know what I tell people about recovering. I'd allow it. How you doing, Misfortune? Scorpios, welcome in. How you doing, Scorpios? Forever, welcome back. How you doing, Forever? Um, but I think that would be a good mechanic. So... <laughs> We're gonna alternate stuns. Um, yeah, guys. Thank you for being here. And I know people already told me I don't need to apologize, but I apologize for missing the last two streams. I wanted to stream, but I uh, I felt like I, I couldn't stream the last two nights, and that, you know, if I had forced myself to, it, it would have not been very good anyway. So. Um, gave it to the dog. Anyway, for the recovery stuff. In Darkest Dungeon, any time that you can recover from f for free, you just do it. So we might only have 30 stress, but that 30 stress can mean the difference between an affliction or a heart attack, be the difference between a game over or not, like, just in your life. <laughs> uh, always dodge, always crit. I'm not sure how, how great that would be for real life, but let me know. Every Monday through Saturday, 8 to 2 a.m. No excuses. Demand Adam time. <laughs> Free is good, noted. <clears throat> Thank you, Rash. <laughs> yeah, like I said, there's no, uh, there's no exact. Parallel. Point of the body says stop, just relax. Well, there wasn't any relaxing, but uh, I know what you mean. <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna start stress healing. There, how master. Everyone else will still just uh, we'll we'll kill the guardian. I'm not gonna. Kill him too slowly, because they can crit just like anything. He can build up bleeds and, you know, then crit and really screw us over. So I'm not going to, like, uh, risk a death healing on this guy. But especially with our Vestal not being a great healer right now. But I mean, we're down to 18 stress. A gleaming endowment. <laughs> Hyvax, more bits. <laughs> Ibex, thank you for the thousand bits. Appreciate it, Ibex. I 
How you doing, Ibex? What you been up to? Welcome back. Thank you again for the bits. I know I just said that like three times, but... Always appreciate it. So we're down to 18 stress. We'll go ahead and get a little bit more off. Down to 15. <clears throat> if we kill... Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, if we kill it, it kind of sucks. But if we do, we do... Hey, look at that. Dead. Uh, we can't get a hunger proc here. One immune, two immune, three immune, four immune, five. If we have to go to every room, we can get five hunger procs. So I should try to keep all that food just in case. I can't tell. I can hear my daughter in the distance, and I can't tell if she's happy or upset. Think things are alright. Uh, alright, what's our trap disarm? 90% is our highest by a good margin. We'll come back for that chest on the way down if we have more inventory space. I just didn't want to open it and not have anywhere to put it. Uh, man, no scout. No critical scout. And that's going to be gone next battle. Unfortunate. Another Another so on the docket tonight, it's quad grouper. Uh, so we need to take... One of the front two out, one of the back two to divide up their damage. The front two are more deadly, especially in Apprentice, because Seaward Slash has uh, hits harder than spear fishing. These back ones can only use spear fishing, and it doesn't pull in in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and stun this one. Is it Chandler? <laughs> so on the docket tonight is Darkest Dungeon, and we do have a bounty, and it's Battle Right, and I'm kind of excited. It's weird. It's weird. The other night, yeah, good, just a three. The other night, uh, we were talking about bounties that I've done that I enjoyed and ones that I didn't. Our community grows. Charles Retro. Charles, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, we were talking about... May we heal. Our community grows. Basting Quill. Quill, thank you for the follow. Our community grows. Zero through nine, twice, underscore. Thank you for the follow. We're talking about uh, bounties that I've done that I actually enjoyed doing, that I was happy to have done, and uh, that, the ones that I liked the most. And I actually really liked... Uh, I really liked Battle Right. Um, now, we only got to play the Battle Right, that, uh, the Battle Royale version of Battle Right, but I actually enjoyed it. And I was like, but we haven't had a bounty come up for Battle Right in like six months. Death and the very next day, I have a bounty for uh, there's a Death's Door for Battle Right. Um, so good news is nothing else can hit him this round. So he's going to be fine. But we'll get him off Death's Door. Yeah, no problem, Quill. But you're being here. Four to eight. So if we crit here, we deal 12. If we don't crit, roll top end and get a bleed. He's still alive. Uh, six to 12. We could, we could kill him without rolling top end. The problem is these two can hit both hit the Hound Master. This one can't kill anyone. These two can. Make sure when it needs to be started by. Oh yeah, it's this one's good for like four days. So I don't even have to do it tonight, but I'm going to. Don't get tied to this grouper sandwich. 24% chance to kill that. 19% chance to kill that. This we don't even have to crit. But it's more important we kill one of these. So. Eradicated. <laughs> GG. Get him out of here. Now we're safe. We can't die. We can go to death's door again. But we can't die. Let's stun this one for next round. Yeah. Cry did. Uh, we missed the Street Fighter V one, which I was kind of excited for. To a killing blow. Oh, my wife laughing. <laughs> She's not too fond of that. A gold cup with witty things for enemies for you. The Pinchy Bottom Boys. The Grouper Sandwich. I'll allow it. As if I would... <laughs> Thank you, r -squared. I'm good with that. Up. 
If only to bleed again. <laughs> well, we need to recover on this guy. A little bit. Hopefully that stuns. The best Shambler appearance? I know. It's crazy. Still crazy. There was that time that we got three 1% Shamblers back to back. That was pretty good also. Uh, don't kill him. Thank you. Thank you, Steven. What a pal. Crit wrong person. Can't complain, though. Yeah, we recovered a little bit. A decisive pummeling. Two death stores, but hey, we're alive. Uh, you were trying Prison Architect. How'd you like it? I liked it, but I wasn't all there during it because I had, I don't mean this in a negative way, but right after I started playing Prison Architect is when suddenly the chat was like, we had like 20 people in the chat going, hey, hey, listen, check your private messages. Hey, are you reading this? Can you do a voice impression of Wayne June? Hey, hey. And I was like, what, what? And then for like the next 30 minutes, I was like in awe that, um, that I received that birthday present. So, uh, no, I enjoyed it though. I want to play it more. Uh, I'm actually going to throw that gold down, which is not what I'd like to do, but. Nobby? Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking too. Hey, listen. You know who's way worse than Nobby though? The beginning of Monster Hunter World. I don't remember her name. Secret room without the scout. Yes. We're going to get Junia's head in here. You'll see. Metaphor of life. Prison architect. Depends on how you live your life, Scorpios. Depends. Do you think life is too short not to, like, go for broke? Going full out on what you working towards what you'd like to do? Or are you impris imprisoning yourself in what you have to do? There's, there's nothing, wrong, nothing wrong with the other. Just depends on what, how you want to live. The handler? I don't remember her name. Right in the beginning. Like, she's really annoying. You're all ears, coach. <laughs> Such wholesome excitement about getting a head, yeah. Sight. Uh, we need to kill this for, first where it blows up. I don't know. He's slow. <laughs> I shouldn't take that risk. But I'm gonna. No, I'm not. Yes, I. No, I'm not. Impressive. <laughs> you love the handler. Is is that who she is? The one in the very beginning, where like, I was trying to look at like settings and controls and try to look at things, and she's like, "You can move the the leaves out of the way to go this direction." I'm like, "All right, I get it." And then I open my inventory. You can move the leaves. Hey, hey, you can move the leaves. Okay. I can move leaves, thank you. Oh, by the way, you can move leaves. Uh, hey, George Lucas. This is the lawyer. <laughs> Three to six. Uh, Monster Hunter Worlds. Hey, George Lucas is the lawyer. Welcome back. How's uh, how's it going? Any any cases that you're working on lately? It's real being annoying than her. Yeah, I know, but they made her the the voice of it. Uh-oh. Just one? Hey, Power, welcome back. How <laughs> do, Power? What's what's your... Am I allowed to ask about your new high-profile case? All right, he's dead. No need to worry. Uh, I was never worried. You could tell. How's it going, Aryan? You dead too, sir? No, you're gonna go down to one. This Let's get healed. Taken. Can't talk to you about it. Something about slander libel. Gotcha. Hmm. Well, let me know how it goes. You will join us or die, master. <laughs> um, I don't know who you are, anonymous person, but thank you for gifting a subscription to George Lucas Lawyer. Uh. George Lucas Lawyer, welcome to the sub club. Uh, we, we have a special introduction for you since this is your first time here. Wayne, if you would be so kind. 
Welcome to the Sub Club. Uh, thanks, Wayne. What about the people in chat? Bring out the love and sandwiches. <laughs> thanks, Wayne. Appreciate that. All right. The Q. Oh, did we keep that one? Hang on, let me check. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't keep the Q one yet. That's one that I I was gonna add Arium uh, after I got done messing with it, but then I didn't feel very good, so I hadn't fixed those ones. So the Q isn't one. Just Cletus and Xmas right now. Just Cletus and Xmas. So we're gonna uh, stall on this guy. Cornbread. Complimentary birthday stream cornbread. <laughs> Thanks, Irish Red Cap. Now, as long as we hit this one two times per round, doesn't matter uh, with something that can do damage, uh, he won't call in reinforcements, so we won't get stressed. Now, like I said, he can crit, but he does have one of the lower crit chance, so we're going to hit him with the uh, Abomination and the Vestal mostly, so we kill him as slowly as possible while getting our stress back down. I mean, there's a cooldown on it, so whenever you guys think is appropriate to spam Cletus or Xmas, you can go for it. Cheater, what am I... How am I cheating? I'm using the in-game game mechanics to, uh, to stress you. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and hit him. Oh god, and accepting money to put things in my mouth, yeah. There's a- one of the clips also has where- count me out. <laughs> hey everybody, my name's Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? It's my hat. <laughs> uh, what's I saying? Oh, there's the one where count me out donates and uh... And I keep asking where he wants it. Where do you want it, count me out? Where did you pay to put it, count me out? I'll just put a party hat in my mouth. It's my wife. Did I say that? Craig? It's Peg Leg Craig. Craig's a long time regular of the channel. I said that. I mean, I never, I never doubt you. It's just I don't remember a lot of these. Crit. Good night, quotes. Takes five people to summon Cletus or Christmas. Might have cut off some circulation. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, we recovered pretty well. We got out of there with uh, almost full health. Stress is lower than it was going in. Um... Not ready to take any of that yet. So you can use a shovel on this or a dog treat. If you use a shovel on it, you get guaranteed loot. If you use a dog treat, which you don't have anymore, you get a dodge buff. Let's go check this curio. I don't know if I'm going to do that hall battle or not. <sighs> kind enough to help out with his Cletus hat, please. Oh, she's no, she's no longer in the same room as me when I stream. I mean, she comes in here, you know, and she hung out for the birthday stream. Don't you? The time has come for a medi rave. I don't know who you are, or where you came from, but I'm gonna thank you. <laughs> if you want me to let me know who you are, if you forgot to put your name instead of actually doing it anonymously, you can let me know and I'll thank you in person, or uh, by name. But uh, no, thank you for the donation. W Wayne, one more time. DJ Wayne, everyone. The time has come for a Medi rave. Waiting for the t-shirts. <laughs> um, anonymous person, thank you again for the $10 donation. It helps tremendously. Um, you've already heard many times. The dream is to do this to support me and my family so I don't have to do the other 35 to 40 hours a week. Definitely helps out. Thank you. Who was you? 
I figured it was when you said you got it, Coach, but I didn't want to pres or assume who it was. Scorpios. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Glad you are learning some very important life lessons here. Dark's Dungeon lessons. They are free, but tips are accepted. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Scorpius. Seriously. Hey, smarty one. Welcome. Welcome in. Great. Uh, I'm not going to try to stall against this guy. Like, if we stun him next round, he doesn't die. Maybe I'll get one stress heal in, but... Sorry. Oh, yeah, you did. I, um... I remember mentioning that last week. How's it going? The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Go lurk in bed, try my best to not sleep the next 10 minutes. Uh, no worries, Cam. I don't take any offense by it. In fact, I I think it's uh, a good thing that people can sleep with the stream and choose uh, to listen to the stream as, as they go to sleep and stuff. So, all good, Cam. And thank you for the lurk. It will help out... Uh, Tremendously during the bounty. I'm gonna take the risk and eat that food. Hey, yeah, birthday. Hey, Kaz. Thank you, Kaz. How's it going? Welcome on in. How are you and the Mista Mista doing? So, this has a 60% chance to give a positive quirk. Guys, I'm gonna keep trying for Hippocra Hippocratic. It's like ASMR. Do I need to put the microphone closer the whole night? Full throttle, to be honest. Gonna hit the road for sales meeting next week already. Man, how far do you have to travel, Scorpios? Come on, Hemiel! Hemiel! I mean, you got a positive, but... Photomania doesn't help us at all. Uh, Photomania is really good in full lights. So we're not in full light, though. Naked ASMR. Fine lessons of life. Uh, I don't want to get a hunger proc, so I'm going to walk backwards. Here's, here's advice for you, Scorpios. If you're out there on, on the road for your uh, sales calls and whatnot, uh, if you feel like you're eating too much junk, if you just walk backwards down every hallway, you won't get as hungry. Because uh, that's how it is in Dark's Dungeon. How was the birthday stream? It was pretty awesome, Kaz. Uh, we had a lot more people participating than la last year, obviously. So we did play some Choice Chamber again. And uh, last year, I looked on the clips. Most Choice Chamber votes last year were like six or seven people. Sometimes 12, like max. This year, every vote on Choice Chamber was like 57 or something. Which I'm on reverse. <laughs> it's not quite... Uh, well, if you do that, Scorpios, you won't be hungry again. So, uh... Pogo. Oh, and Kaz, did you know about the secret present? I don't think you did, did you? Did you know about the secret, Kaz? Oh, you must not. I'm not going to play them all right now, Kaz. I'll play them uh, throughout the night, but here's here's an intro for you. Here you go. This is still so... This is so surreal to me. Um, there we go. Shut up, fish. Get your attacks in so I can play this without being interrupted by eldritch horrors. El eldritch what? There we go. Always back to the hentai. All right, here we go. Hey, Adam. Wayne June. Listen, your peeps chipped in and commissioned me for a gift for your birthday. They're true fans, my man. And since I've been lurking your stream for research, now so am I. Happy birthday, buddy. Oh, and tell Cletus I said happy birthday, too. <laughs> Alright, Kaz, I'll play one more. Just because you, you forced it out of me. You won't stop asking me to play it, so I'm going to play it. Oh no, Don, why? Don, why? Yeah, it's Wayne June. It's the ancestor. Uh, 22 regulars of the stream got together going all the way back to January. Kept it a secret and orchestrated this and did not let me know until my birthday. No one let me know. Uh, it started with Stuff. Stuff had the initial idea. And then uh, 22 other people were involved. Stuff and Pineapple did most of the uh, correspondence, or all the correspondence, with Wayne June. Um, it's crazy. Alright, one more. 
One more. Hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? <laughs> Alright, one more. Welcome to the sub club. One second. Yeah? For what? Yeah. A little bit. Uh, as soon as my daughter's out, I'll play another one. Her iPad was charging in here. She's gonna use it before bed. So Amber, there's more of them. I'll play. I'll play them. I know I said I'm not gonna play them all right now, but that was a lie. All right. All right. Here's one of my favorite ones. They're all one of my favorites. Here's another one. The Q is a conveyor belt of death. Good luck. Tonight, sister's house tonight. Feel better. Hey, Tet, no worries. Tet, thanks for letting me know, so I didn't uh, like worry about your something. By the way, Tet, this is gonna be sound weird from the, on the stream and not tied to the Discord. Uh, I think I think it looks better with the hair how it is now. It, <laughs> I say it instead of you. Anyway, Tet, um, hope you enjoy the time with your sister. No worries. Next, he's Adam, and this. Is Adam versus everything. <gasps> it's a Christmas miracle. By the way, I haven't had time yet, Kaz. I missed the last two streams because I wasn't feeling well. By the way, there's a. Uh... So Wayne, Wayne June watched the information about urinal chicken and this is the results two time urinal chicken champ right here this guy i meant then your profile picture on the discord the one you posted uh Success. looks better to me than the profile picture or is it merely a trick of the light bring out the love and sandwiches the urinal chicken champion. Also, I am the datum. Who's your dream daddy? I am the datum. Welcome to the sub club. It's easy. Just always crit. And always dodge. <laughs> I didn't say anything bad about the profile. Simple. Picture tet. Alright, it's good for now, right? Who's your dream daddy? No, the urinal chicken thing is not from uh, Dream Daddy, if that's what you're talking the one you're talking about. There's urinal chicken in a nutshell. Thank you, Phoenix. Um urinal chicken story is from my life. But the first time it was told was during XCOM 2. Hey, Divis, welcome in. I kind of want to take these, but there's nothing I want to drop for it, honestly. Oh, the Dream Daddy one, yeah. Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, that was from Dream Daddy. So it was, that's where Datum was born. Possibly the funniest moment. I have that VOD saved somewhere, too. The Datum and the Dream Daddy thing are both from Dream Daddy. Um, you're an old chicken champion. It's from my life. It's going to be in my uh, autobiography. Well my, my memoirs. Sure, right there, man. You're an old chicken champion. <laughs> Do I want to go back and open that chest? I guess I might as well, huh? World UCC. <laughs> No, speaking of merchandise, like, I've always kind of felt a little bit weird about that, but uh, it's interesting that you're asking that, or talking about that with, like, Kaz being here, because Kaz has been saying for years, years, God, it almost has been years, Kaz has been saying for over a year that I should get that sort of stuff. It's like, I want posters with quotes on them, I want mugs, <laughs> um... I can work on some of that. Oh, the other thing is, uh, Lexi one that does our emotes now she does um artwork for 
uh, items like that. And you get the full rights to them, it's just it costs a little bit. A stream of blood. <laughs> Your old chicken t-shirts. Find an interesting free-to-play game, card game, or habit shooter. Isn't pay to win, kind of like Path of Exile. Uh, I mean, I'm going to be playing a free-to-play one tonight as the... Uh, um, man, I don't want to drop this. God, I'm, I'm going to drop the herbs and we're going to start running the Eerie Coral. Anyway, I'll, I'll be playing a free-to-play one tonight, Battle Right, that I played a little bit before and actually enjoyed it. It's a arena brawler, though. It's not like a single-player thing. Um, I don't know. Have you ever tried Maple Story 1 or 2? They can be fun. All right. Junia's head. Here we go. What? What are the odds? Battle Royale games. Your uh, own chicken t-shirt. Man, that sucks. No head. No head. That's really... That's actually pretty rare not to get a single head in those. Uh, but it happens. Do I want to throw down the shovel? I mean, I don't want to, but... Am I going to? Baby. Don't do this at home. <laughs> don't do this at home. We're back, Phoenix. Weird looking heads, yeah. Uh, we can still get one hunger proc. Ooh. Full face mask, if you were to <laughs> Like ski masks? <clears throat> yeah, that's what I need. People robbing banks. What aim on there? How you doing, Chobi? Welcome in. Mr. Grumpy Monkey, welcome in. If I missed anyone, I'm sorry. It's not intentional, but welcome back. Even criminals can use for robberies. <laughs> hey, look, it's Eerie Coral. So if you use medicinal herbs on Eerie Coral, Carl, you get a random negative quirk removed, but I just threw down the Eerie, or I mean the medicinal herbs, of course. Crossover pro product. Yeah, think of all the money we can make. It's a good idea. And we could use them for robberies as well and make literal bank. Alright, last fight. Carl. Plagic Guardian fight, that's good to see. We also surprise them, so we can probably recover before we go home. Probably. Big market in America. True. <clears throat> I don't know, there's probably not that many bank robberies anymore in the United States. I have no idea, <laughs> like... That's just a shart in the dark. How do I sponsor will embroider your name on a few pairs? Um, speaking of that, uh, they, they asked me, they were like, what if we send you some? Oh, They're like, the people table. say that our underwear and socks are the most comfortable in the world. What if we send you some products and you can try it out first and then if you like it, then we can do the sponsorship. I was like, all right. So they're sending me two pairs of underwear and a pair of socks. It should be here next week. <laughs> uh, Phantasmacore. Phantasma, thank you for the follow. Me undies, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, we're on run 20, and we're on week 7 or 8. 8, I think. How you doing, Celica? All robberies done online nowadays? Yeah, that's a good point. The Bacon Man. So I like the Candy Man. Wait! If I go fr in front of the mirror in the dark and I say Bacon Man, what is it, 5 times? Is it 5 for Candy Man? Will the Bacon Man... Up here. Will he give me bacon? <laughs> Kevin Bacon appears. 
I think we're on week eight, Celico, somewhere like that. Eight-ish, seven or eight. Thank you, Phoenix. If you think your kids can play now, wait until the apocalypse. That's a good quote. See, that's that's a nice, wholesome quote I can get behind. Time on my schedule to do one of those. <laughs> Your steadfast Crescent is greatly appreciated. Crescent an entire year. Crescent, thank you. Bring out the love and sandwiches. Crescent, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the year of support. All those hours spent and lurked hours spent. Appreciate it. Crescent. How quickly hey, there's one of those cr crits. Almost bit my tongue. Your internet's starting to die. Call your internet service provider and tell them, No! I'm watching Adam vs. Everything! <laughs> Send me more juice! Dropped frames. Wait. No, it's Twitch! Again. I guess, uh, let me double check, like, a browser. Check a browser. I don't know what's going on. Uh, the Windy City certainly blows. All right. We didn't, it's still doing it. Going in and out, in and out. Come on. Twitch, please. I might have to reload on a different server. Still watching it. I mean... Man, that sucks. There's no dropped frames, it's connection. Find a skipping. See another bit network error. Yeah, so after my computer rebooted, this is set to default settings. I don't know if anyone can hear, but if you can. So it's set to connect to server. Automatic, best server, connected to Chicago. It sucks, because if I reload, we're going to lose all of our hosts and auto-hosts. But I just ran a speed test, and I'm at 3 MS ping, 690... Megabytes per second. I'll give it one more minute, then I'll have to, uh... This is the best server. It's alright. Taking this off. Flash on your screen and bright in the HUD letters. Taking this off, and then I'm gonna reconnect. Alright. Let me reconnect to something besides Chicago. I'm fine again, are you sure? Let me know if it starts happening again, I'll reconnect. I would like to not have to do the reconnection, but... 
Let me know. Or again, I guess you scared it. I mean, I did a speed test. That's all I did. At five. Oh, it was definitely on the server end. Not for you guys. Excuse me. This is it okay now? The slow death. So, if you put your stream settings on auto, which it, it defaults back to, it connects to whatever server is close to you. And the closest Twitch server to me is Chicago, which is only like three and a half hours away. But uh, it seems like the Chicago server, I don't know if it's like got a, like a, a load issue or something because of how many people connect to that one. But it absolutely seems like the Chicago server, especially on like uh, the weekends, gets bogged down. So... After my computer rebooted earlier, I should have checked before I went live, but I didn't. Didn't even think about it. Hey Fiddles, how's it going? Do you like crows? I do a power steering, by the way. Welcome in. Larkin. How you doing, Larkin? Saw you come in too. Saw some other people come in while Chicago was being annoying. Sue Chicago for lost revenue. <laughs> Excellent, welcome back. Sorry if I missed anyone during all that craziness, but welcome back. Uh, we can stress you once. <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> you say and you don't die. That's kind of anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. Do that. Used to be able to two weeks. May 11th, 12th. Super fired up. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping to do a smaller build for a stream, a second computer, stream computer. I mean, I'm excited about that one, so I can't imagine this monstrous PC that you're building. Deeds. I need deeds. I need deeds. What would, I what would I trade out for these deeds right now? Probably that 750 golds. Good job, Masochistic B. I can't remember if there's a, a chance to get loot out of here with nothing. Hey, look, there is. Let's go home. We did it. We did a dungeon. Odor abates. The things are driven back for a time. But no, I have a really good internet connection. Uh, they just put fiber in our city six months ago or something. So I have uh, a gigabyte download and 250 upload. And I checked those and it all looked good. Look at that. 29,000 gold, some trinkets to sell. So we got like 30,000 gold from that. Balanced, faded, no negatives. Finally, a good dungeon. A fresh irritant. I wish we had found Junia's head. Were we on week seven? Week seven. Kaiten Stalwarts. Another Vestal. Luminous. Well, well. Well, well, Luminous Vestal. I think I'm going to take you. Is it doing it again? Like, I have my internet connection up now, and it's fine. So it's just the Twitch connection. <sighs> All right. I'm going to have to connect to not Chicago. <sighs> One sec. Can do the bouncy? Um, no, we don't have enough people to do the bouncy. Connect to Canada, that's what I did last time. Actually. Let's see, settings. Chicago. Uh, 
This will say on the channel before it drops. No, not if they have a not if they have an auto host set up. They'll automatically connect to the next auto host that's live on their list, and that's what we'll lose. Quebec server will never go down. I actually did connect to Canada last time. Stable electricity network in the world. It looks okay again. I'm gonna wait. As soon as it happens again, let me know and I will uh I'll drop Chicago. Drop Chicago. Sucks, man. Alright. Q moves. I already have it selected the other server, so we can do it as quickly as possible, but I don't know, maybe I should do it before it does it again. Because I'm not I don't know if it'll it'll stop or not. Uh Blame it on the Cubs. Hey, it's Irish Red Cap. Irish Red Cap. Look at that, Irish. You get to be the Vestal on the winning run. Is that amazing? Luminous Vestal. You're going to get roll Hippocratic in the next dungeon. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. So, this be great. Joe Reezy. Tortured. Klepto. This man is more dangerous than he seems. Nope. Yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, like my bot, nothing, nothing like that disconnected at all. It's doing it again. All right. All right, I'll be right back if you can hear me.